even know where to waste that. All these in the room, how could you waste that? Huh? Why would you chase that? It's a never ending run on this racetrack. No matter what, I'ma stay black. It's a never ending run on this. Come heavy, like Shaq attack up on a backboard. Come here, come here, come here, back up on a backboard. When she asked me if I love her, I just act boy. Say loser, 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 ask for it. Living movie, black buster, this ain't a rental. Choking moody, all these diamonds up in my dental. I get never mind it if I offend you. I need the silence, chaos is in my mental. You need a PJ first class, not what you went to. You need to. We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he nearly broke that for more. But as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First carry for the tailback, Devontae Freeman. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Second down, drops it off for Coleman. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Six yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware of ball mates on your way. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Now a play fake here on first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. certainly look like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one take the big shot right out of the gate at worst you'll open up the defense a little bit loosen them up have them back on their heels and yeah, that'll be accepted of course and that moves them back five so after the penalty heading in the wrong direction second and 15 
To throw again is Ryan. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And just like that, it's third down. Ryan will throw again. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And he'll go down at the 28. Five yards on the pickup. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gutsy call turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Ryan leads with Freeman on the draw. And he'll take this one down near the 15. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Get up! They'll run here with Freeman. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A first down throw, Darnold, buying time to his left. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack, down he goes. Brooks Reed, able to drop him for a loss of four. So after the sack here, second and 14. A shotgun snap for Darnold. He's got it. This is Bill Powell. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Now a first carry for Isaiah Crowell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline as a play car. You're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green. 
Darnold from the gun. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Grady Jarrett in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. On fourth down, here's Lachlan Edwards to punt it. Here's Jones. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Second down, here's Ryan. Going underneath, it's Coleman. Oh, now he bowls him over. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. On first and 10, it's Ryan. He goes underneath to Freeman. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll make it second down. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now Ryan on first down. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. Even covering with a linebacker, a corner, a safety, looks like he can win every battle. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. They'll roll him out right. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. On third down, Ryan out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad it's also a game of mismatches and they're trying to create one there getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play as we often say get it to him in space let him use his leg yeah if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz he's going to win that battle just about every time smith is the lone man in the backfield here as they get ready for second and goal Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. Second and goal, and the lone man in the backfield is Freeman. Freeman, the lone man in the backfield. They get it to him running left. 
And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of two. Now third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Coleman now. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but they do keep him out of the end zone, and now it's fourth down. Go, go, go. There are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. Here's Ryan. And that'll be pulled in by the tight end. It's Hooper for the Falcon touchdown. Austin Hooper, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. On first down, Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Now a run. This is Bilal Powell. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. Right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, right, now, just as he's trying to haul it in. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. After the interception, here's Ryan. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. From the shotgun, Ryan. Looking deep for Julio. Looking for Jones and it's intercepted. Picked off by Buster Screen. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident right, throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. After the interception, here's Darnold. Eluding the pressure right. Letting one go deep. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Anunwa, the intended target. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and ten. There we go. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking downfield for Joe. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. Touchdown. 
Bryant's extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee Detroit. and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's, that's the proper party. play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. Okay, well, so much for the halftime report here. Can't, guy can't even finish his Snickers. We're going to get right to the third quarter. Let me spit this out. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone center. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, no, but stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Forced out to his left. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Third and long. It's Ryan. Flushed out right. And he fires one, but incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will up the score now. It's 23 zip. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, on, second and 10. On. on second and 10, Darnold. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And the Falcons grab it. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Following the fumble recovery, it's Ryan. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You got a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. If you get careless with the football, look out. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one goes for 36 yards. On 
first down, Ryan. This will be caught at the five. And he showcases the spin, a pretty good gain before he's taken down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down, Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons continue to pour it on. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Darnold on first down. He's going to air one out. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the field or not. It permeates his way through the entire team, and I can't wait to see what they do on the next down. Flush to his right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Bruce Irvin able to get him for a loss of about three. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Darnold now to throw. He's going to air one out. This is caught inside the 15. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now Darnold going underneath for Corral. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Falcons grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. When Leonard Williams was picked in the 2015 NFL Draft, I compared him to Merlin Olsen, and I got a lot of grief about it. Did you just see that play there? Did you see how he made that move? He made that tackle? That was Merlin Olsen-esque. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 54 yards. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch. Turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And now running right through it. Pass for 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Second and goal from the one. He'll get it up the middle. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's the fullback taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons add on. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big-time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. Uh, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Jets' offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. Exactly. To throw on second down is Darnold. This is Corral on the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. down it's Darnold escaping the pressure right and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 he'll get just a yard on the scramble it's second down yeah he only gets a few yards on first and 10 but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse an interception on second down Darnold he's gonna look deep down the field and they went for a big play through the air on second down couldn't connect now it's third it's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary can really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28 from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. A first down throw, Darnold. Got an open man, it's a new one. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of six there Leopard, on first. Leopard. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle him almost on the spot. Leopard. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Robbie Anderson, 26 yards. And the Jets are at least able to knock the deficit down a bit. 
Myers connects on the PAT as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Here's Myers now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Atlanta now coming out on the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won about, every game as a no, player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Henry Anderson in there to drop it for a loss of nearly 20 yards. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. On second down, here's Ryan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Brooks Reed with a tackle. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Here's Darnold now on second down. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Deion Jones leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Third and long, it's Darnold. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock, they know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking deep for who? He's got a man complete. He's at the 30, the 20, 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Jets set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? 
and the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Deion Jones in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Darnold from the gun. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. Yeah. You see what I did there? Yeah, he okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Detroit! Detroit! From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Now a desperation throw deep to... And got his man complete! And all the way to the opposite 48. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. 45 yards. First and ten, Darnold. And it pops free. The yeah. collision there jarred the ball loose it's and good. brings up second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Second down and 10, Darnold. 20! Got his man complete over the middle. That's Powell. And they move this all the way down to the 9. A gain of 39 that time. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now. Because now these plays are really for next week. Trying to get some momentum going. One last throw down for Darnold. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Brian Poole. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working Pick and clicking. Take them toys up. Take them they can bottle this. Put them toys up. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.